a TV and speakers cost $1,623.70. The TV costs double the speakers. How much do they each cost? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so we have uh, this TV and speakers. It cost this amount of money. The TV cost double the speakers. How much do they each cost? Okay, so we've already read this problem a couple of times, and you really do have to read prompt more than once to fully understand it. You should always use the rule of three. Okay, now what is the rule of three? The rule of three is you have to read a prompt at least three times, okay? This should just be a rule that you follow. Even if you understand the question, read it over and over again because uh, if you read it at a minimum of three times, what happens is your brain kind of gets into gear and you oftentimes come up with a better strategy or you can you know, stop yourself from being confused about something because math problems are known to confuse students. You know, uh, math teachers are tricky in that way. So you really want to make sure you understand the question. But once you really have assimilated the information, what we need to do is model this problem. Okay, so how do we model a problem like this? Well, we have some unknown values. So we have a TV and a speaker. And we're like, well, how much do they each cost? Well, we don't know. So we need to maybe use a variable. Okay, so sometimes when you can't visualize a uh, situation, you know, like in other words, like a, a geometry problem where there's a circle or a rectangle, a problem like this, we're going to have to um, let some sort of symbol represent these unknown values. And a good symbol to use is any common uh, variable that we use in algebra like x, y, uh, z. So I'm going to use x to represent the cost of one of these items because you can see here we have a relationship between the TV and the speakers in terms of how much they cost, right? The TV costs double the speakers. So uh, let's go ahead and let a variable x represent the cost of the speaker or the speakers because the TV, if it's double the cost of the speakers, well, the TV is going to cost 2x. Okay, so hopefully you can see where I'm going uh, with this. So let's establish this. Now, when you're doing an algebra problem, let's suppose you're doing a homework problem, test, quiz, or exam, you're going to want to write things out in a way where your teacher or somebody else reading your work can understand what's going on. And uh, even if it's not your teacher or someone else, you need to understand uh, what you're doing. So after you do a problem, you can go back and review it and just kind of, you know, read. And that's a, a good um, standard to follow. In other words, when you do, when you're writing out your math solution, you got to keep in mind, can someone else follow what I'm doing? Because if you can't uh, communicate clearly in that manner, then you need to, you know, uh, you know, modify uh, the work. You don't have to modify your strategy. You might know exactly what you're doing, but communicate clearly in math. That's so important. So let's be very clear about this. So we're going to let X equal the cost of the speaker speakers in uh, dollars. Okay. So therefore, 2X is the cost of the TV in dollars. Now, why is that the case? Well, again, uh, we have this little uh, part of the problem. So the TV cost double the speakers. Okay, so the speakers are X, then the TV cost 2X. Now the total, the total amount is how much? Well, it's $16.2370, uh, and we're going to need that amount because we can't do anything here with these variables. In other words, we can't figure out what these variables are equal to unless we can build an equation. So in algebra or algebra word problems, it's very, very typical. You know, they kind of work uh, in very similar fashion. So what you're going to do is you're going to establish uh, some uh, variables to represent something. And then ultimately, you need to build an equation, okay, from the information in the problem. Then you're going to uh, uh, solve that equation. Of course, the equation is going to involve the variables that you've uh, represent 
that represent the unknown values you're looking to solve for in your problem. Okay, so the total cost here of the TV and speakers is 1623.70. So here is our um, X is the cost of the speakers. Uh, double the cost of the speakers is the TV. So this is our speakers, this is our TV. The total amount is this amount. So now it really comes uh, down to your ability to solve this nice, lovely, basic linear equation. All right, now if you didn't understand the setup, no big deal. But let's see if you have the algebra skills to solve this equation. So if you want to pause the video and solve it, that's perfectly fine. But let's go ahead and take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before we finish up this lovely problem. Now, uh, you know, I am not af afraid to ask for help or assistance. <laughs> you know, yeah, certainly, I'm stopping this video and saying, hey, I need your help, okay? And the best way you can help me is to subscribe. Now, you might be saying, hey, why should I help you? Well, my goal, okay, I'm gonna tell you why you should help me, and hopefully this is a compelling enough reason for you to hit that subscribe button. But uh, my whole channel, YouTube channel is, you know, my whole mission is try to, to is try to make math clear and understandable. Math is just one of these notorious subjects that so many people just don't like, or, you know, it really plays on a lot of people's self uh, image or self-confidence. And I know this because I've been doing this for many, 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 many years. A lot of people think that oh, I'm bad at math, uh, you know, and that can kind of translate into, I'm not smart enough to learn this subject. And guess what? This is not true. This is not true. But a lot of people, because they struggle in mathematics, will start planting these ideas in their head. Like, hey, maybe there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay. And if you think that, well, I'm just bad at math and maybe I should just stick to, you know, whatever this subject, you know, again, there's serious consequences to not uh, being reasonably successful in any subject. Okay. But math just seems to be one of these, you know, subjects that people have a tough time with. So if you are struggling in math, please don't give up. You know, I'm just telling you right now, you can learn this stuff, but it does take a lot of hard work. Okay. And you have to build your skill sets up one at a time. That is the truth. So if anyone is telling you um, anything different, like, hey, you could just learn, you know, uh, calculus in three days. Well, they're just lying to you. Right. So be careful. And if you need help in mathematics, check out my full course instruction Um or my full courses, which I do my complete full instruction. That's what I meant to say. You can find links to all that in the description. So whether you're at pre-algebra, algebra one, pre-calculus, geometry, it doesn't make a difference. Now, if you are not a math student, check out my math skills rebuilder course. That is a great course for those of you that want to relearn uh, math. Uh, starting from the very, very basics. Okay, so thanks for giving me a little bit of time to uh, tell you what I'm all about, but now let's go and get back into this problem. And this problem is going to be pretty straightforward because all we have to do here is solve this basic linear equation. All right, so we have x plus 2x is equal to 16, 23, 70. So x and 2x are what we call like terms. We can add the coefficients. So this is a 1 here. Here is a 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So we have 3x is equal to 16, 23, 70. So how do we solve for x? Easy. We just divide both sides of the equation by 3. And again, Use your calculator. You should never do a problem like this by hand. You know, uh, you know. I'll just take your word for it that you know how to divide decimals. But uh, we take uh, 1,623.70, divide that by 3 in our calculator, and we get this number right here. X is equal to 541.23, uh, more or less. So what does that represent? Well, again, remember, we established way back over here what X is equal to, that's the cost of the speakers, and 2X is the cost of the TV. So all we have to do is just go ahead and delineate the actual answer. So X is the cost of the speakers. So the cost of the speakers is this amount, $541.23, and 2X is the cost of the TV. So all we're going to do is plug in this value for X, multiply it by two, and we get $1,082.46. All right, so real basic type of algebra word problem, but don't feel discouraged if you didn't get this right. Now, what you need to do in order to get better at solving word problems is to practice, practice, practice. Now, I like word problems because, you know, of course I've been doing them 
for a long time. But word problems are basically an application of mathematics. So why learn math if you're not going to apply math to solve problems? So, you know, I think if you can have, if you don't like doing word problems, a lot of uh, people, especially students, don't like algebra problems. They, they get this kind of bad reputation. Well, what you want to do is make sure first you have the algebra skills before you start trying to solve word problems. In other words, know how to solve equations, understand what a variable is, et cetera, et cetera. So if you need help with any of this stuff, let me give you a couple of quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on all topics related to algebra on my YouTube channel to include a lot of algebra word problems. But if you really need formal instruction, and those of you out there that are struggling in uh, math, uh, you do need formal comprehensive instruction, okay? That's just my little two cents. So check out my full courses. You can find links to those in the description. For this level of algebra, I would check out like my pre-algebra or algebra one courses. But some of you may not even be uh, math students. You just maybe um, are interested in learning math. Maybe you had a tough time in school 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, and you're like, you know, I know I could have learned much better. You know, maybe you had a couple um, math teachers that were not so great, and that can happen, unfortunately. But if you want to see if you can learn math cor uh, correctly the first time out, maybe it's just something that's been bothering you for many years, or maybe you just want to rebuild all those great math skills that you had years ago, check out my new course. It's called Math Skills Rebuilder. I start from basic math, teach you algebra, teach you geometry, even some trigonometry, some probability and statistics. This is a great self-paced course for those of you that just might just you know, love to, you know, use your time to do something with your brain, maybe like learning math. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.